Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and with a cluster or a bunch of donut shaped cards using the Honey Bee Stamps Donut Card Honey Cuts Wafer Dies as well as a whole bunch of other die cuts and I decided while I was doing this one I couldn't decide you know what colors to use anything so I decided to make several and I have my Gemini cutting plates here so I discovered I could fit not only the card base but also like all these word dies etc onto that and get a little more bang for my buck and do a whole bunch of die cutting all at once each time I would put it through the machine. Um, this base will not fit on a standard um, die cutting plate like the Gemini Junior or uh, Big Shot etc. It's too long. It will fit on a Big Shot like the extended cutting platform so you have if you have the long cutting plates it will fit on there but since I've got the Gemini and these wide plates why not make the most of them and do a ton of die cutting all at once so I had pre-prepped like trimmed down just a whole bunch of random scraps of cardstock I had pulled out the sweet wafer dies the hooray for you wafer dies as well as the donut worry and die cut everything all the layers all of the pieces and then while I was doing that I also did like all the bases for these little donuts there's also the dies for the like topping etc right here and then there's a large circle for the base I decided for two of them I decided to use the circle dies that come in the set to cut holes in the front and back to make normal donuts so you got that it's nice you have that choice you can either do solid ones or you can do the ones with the holes and there's the two circle dies the smaller one for the actual base like the donut and then a wider one that you can use to die cut the larger circle and it'll cut to the exact same size as the sprinkle shape if that makes sense so I had die cut white cardstock with the circle die and two of them I'm going to use the larger circle on because I'm going to use those all on the insides of my little donut shaped cards. So these I just took a little bit of fiddling to figure out where to put the circle dies and then got everything lined up die cut them so two of my donuts will have holes in the middle which I just thought was kind of fun and then two will be solid but I'm going to use the same um, circle die with the sprinkles for my topping but the sky's the limit with these you could use just the solid circle die and I cut some cardstock and you could like decorate it however you want like I did basic ones today with just die cutting I just layered tons of die cuts with just cardstock but you could start sponging you could you know paint on different designs like you know you could really decorate these donuts to be whatever you want which I think would just be so much fun but I kept it fairly simple today more so just to show how these all come together um, I did use the coordinating stamp set so I have the sweet stamp set the hooray for you stamp set and the donut worry stamp set and I was stamping some of the sentiments that I wanted to use onto some more pieces of the same card stocks I had used for all the die cutting. And for this one, I stamped it onto this lighter green color. And I have this potting soil embossing powder. I remember just the last second because it's just habit for me to emboss everything in white. I just use white for everything. And I remember I had brown and I was like, that would be perfect for these. So I use it for this one that you got this sentiment. The other ones I just did white heat embossing on different colors of cardstock for those sentiments. So some I stamped on the purple, etc. And I just used some of the little companion sentiments that come with the sweet stamp set and the hooray for you stamp set. So and all of the sentiments that I had die cut I just adhered them. I didn't even have the camera. I thought I had the camera filming but I just used my multimedia matte adhesive and just adhered all the layers together. So the sweet and the hooray have the three layers. So you have the word, the outline and then the second outline that has all the fun little piercing dots in it and that's the same thing with the hooray. And then the donut worry I just adhered that there's the die cut word and then the outline so I adhered all those together and then for my first card I adhered the purple topping onto the donut and decided to use little bits of foam tape I have little Doris foam strips because I realized they're thin enough that I don't have to do anything super fancy I just had to you know make them into short little pieces and I could pop all these sprinkles up with foam tape so I did that on one card and then I was like I'm not doing this for all of these because I will be here all day <laughs> But for one card it was fun because I just you know gives it the dimensions the sprinkles are a little bit more popped up Another idea I had 
was with the other ones, because I'm going to inlay the sprinkles in all the other donuts, but to coat them with um, like glossy accents or crystal glaze to give them that shine, that would work really well too. Like I was literally racing the clock when I was making these. So I, like I said, I kept mine simple, but you could just, you could do so much with this. It could be so much fun. Or you could like die cut. I was thinking it'd be fun to die cut tons of the pieces for these and have like almost like an assembly station and then just let the kids just have at her, you know, decorate donuts that are actually cards. How fun would that be? I think that's something I'm going to do in the summer when, you know, the weather's bad or whatever. Just die cut a ton of scraps of paper and then let the kids assemble because these are all a good size too. They're not really fiddly, you know, really tiny, delicate, where it'd be hard for the kids to manage. All these pieces are good sizes. So making these little donut shaped cards would totally be fun. So again, as I'm doing the voiceover, my mind is just rolling with more ideas to use these. So I just had fun adhering all of them together, mixing and matching the different colors. Um, like I said, I inlaid the rest of the sprinkles because it was just easier. I saved all of them when I die cut those, the colored bases. Um, I saved them and then I also dug it. You can kind of see in the lower right there, there's scraps that I also ran through with that big circle die with the sprinkles. So I have a nice good pile of sprinkles to choose from so I can fill in all of these little donuts and have a nice little um, mix of colors. And then for all my sentiments, I popped everything on with foam tape just to give it that little bit of dimension. And then the insides I just adhered with um, my Nouveau glue that I was using on the outsides. And then I either would adhere a die cut sentiment like this one. I'm like, it's like, don't worry, be happy. Love that. So I adhered that one. And then with the last one, that's the one I used the donut worry on the outside. And then on the inside, I'm going to adhere that heat and boss sentiment that says you got this. So just a fun little variety. So keeping things basic and fun and all different flavors is kind of what was going through my head with all the different colors of the donut card bases and all the different colors of the toppings, etc. So after I got everything adhered, that finished off my cards. So quick and easy and really, really fun. As always, I will have links below the video to the blog post. I'll have links to all the supplies you so you can check that out below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.